Hello there, world of tankers, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Drudels Blitz, and in today's video, we'll be playing in the Waffenträger Longsword. This is one of the coolest legendary camos that I have seen in World of Tanks Blitz for a while. Now, it's not technically a legendary camo, it's a modded camo that my friend made, and I just thought it looked absolutely epic. I was actually planning to make a video on this probably like a month ago, but I completely forgot. So today is the day that we are doing it. Now there actually is a camo somewhat similar to this already in World of Tank Splits on the G-Sore. But if I'm going to be completely honest, when you compare the two, I mean this is the G-Sore camo. It's got a little sword on the front. I honestly don't like this camo, and that's the reason why I have Cyber Winter on my tank instead of the uh, Excalibur camo. But I'll tell you for a fact, if Wargaming had released this camo for the Ritter, I would be running it every single day. I mean, this looks epic. I don't know why Wargaming doesn't do more things like this, because they would definitely sell a lot more tanks, and it just looks freaking cool. I don't, I don't know what else to say. So, we're going to play in the Ritter. Obviously, the Ritter itself is a fantastic vehicle with 3,560 damage per minute, great accuracy, decent mobility, and some of the best camo values in Tier 9, at least while sitting still. When you pair all these things together, it creates one of the most capable tanks. It's one of the major reasons why I like the Ritter so much. We didn't get the best map, but we got a very good match up, which is New Bay. Alright, well, we will see. As you can notice, I am on my main account for once, which is quite a change, hence my interesting name. But, um, yeah, for the most part, I've been posting a lot on my uh, press account lately, just because it's a lot easier to not worry about stats, to log in, and uh, kind of chill. And uh, that's how it's been lately. So, we are going to head over towards the town. That's just kind of how it always is. The enemy team, what do they have? AMX M4, Caliban, M103. So they have quite a bit of heavily armored tanks. Well, Caliban's not really heavily armored, but they have heavy tanks is what I should say. We are gonna check the crossing. Sometimes people love to cross here. I mean, I do. But as we will notice, the enemy Progetto is already spotted on the bridge and the Caliban M103 are also detected over towards that side of the map. So, we are going to use our maneuverability and try and get behind. Now, our team's not doing great, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, that shell went way too high. Oh well, not much you can do about bad RNG. I mean, I didn't expect that to hit anyway, so it's not really bad RNG, it's just expected. We have the enemy AMX M4 in the corner here, and we're going to aim in on him. Let's see if we can get a sh- wow. Our BZ almost blocked us. He didn't, but very close to, I'll tell you that. Alright, let's aim in one more shell. Finish off the AMX. Let's see, we got the 704 behind. We got the Caliban up top. Okay, well, personally, I think it would be ideal if I could just shoot at the Caliban. We're not able to HE him, but hey, a 479 shot is still a pretty big juicer. The, the Ritter just hits so hard, and it's very hard to counter a tank with this level of DPM at this tier. So we got the 704 making his way up the bridge. We're going to get behind the M103. There you go. Nice 567 shot. We reload. We chill. And we do it again. Hello, M103. There's another 440 health off of your tank. I don't think you're enjoying our company all too much, if I'd be honest. But uh, let's see if I can finish you off. Oh, no. That's... It's not the, um, oh, okay, well now it is. Um, I am going to finish off the M103. What I was going to say is it's not the 704 that's the problem, it's the M103. Okay, well, uh, I'm just going to shoot the 704 very briefly. And, yes, BZ, thank you for saving me. I did play like a bit of a monkey here, not going to lie. I made a bit of a misplay, and, uh, and it almost cost me my take. It wouldn't have lost us the game. This is a win either way. Uh, I just didn't think our team was going to bounce the M103, and they did. But it doesn't really matter to me. We got four kills. We did 3,230 3, damage, and uh, that was a pretty easy win either way. I was just a little bit damage greedy in the end, as I always am. I didn't think that 704 was going to go up the bridge either, though, because he was last spotted right next to the M103. But hey, 
pretty solid results. All right, let's do one. Oh my God! Why does no stop? Stop! 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 More gaming. Stop! Oh, why do they have to just deafen me like this every time? What they'd have four different adverts there for the the IS two shielded camo for the fifty three TP camo, and then uh, I don't even remember the other camos, but bruh, <laughs> I can't. All right, well, here we are on Mines. Mines is a solid map for tank destroyers, but it depends what spawn you get. Uh, I guess we'll see. This is indeed the better spawn, if you ask me. There's much more area to work your tank on this side than the other side. And because of that, uh, you can do a lot better. So we are going to... We're going to move right over to this tree here. We're going to knock it down. If we knock it down properly, it shouldn't go into the rock like so. And then we can just back on up and use this as cover. It's one of my favorite positions uh, just because of how effective it is. But we can see the enemy T-77 is actually spotted crossing. There you go. 485 damage shell. We are not spotted ourselves. We're going to put on our adrenaline. Aim in a uh, shell onto the enemy ball shot to own. This is why this uh, spot back here is so good. Unfortunately, we do get shot by... I don't even know what the other tank was that hit me, but it doesn't really matter. We still got some good bleeds out in the process. I don't think that player enjoyed my company. Oh, that was just unfortunate. All right, well, let's reload. Three, two, one, and a bonk. There you go, 448. Not bad. We're already up to 1,800 damage, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. And we're going to poke over here, aiming it on the standard B. There you go. Not getting too many high rolls, but we're still penning our shots. And I just don't think the enemy team is enjoying us too much. Let's see. We got the Charl. Ah, interesting. Didn't think I was poking my hull out that far, but I guess I was. Doesn't really matter. We still have plenty of health. We're doing fine. Uh, in fact, this time I'm just going to poke over here. We should be able to hit the standard. Let's see. Wait for him to poke. There you go. Another low roll, but uh, we pen it, so not bad. 2,700 damage at this point. Charlemagne's not looking at us, so we're just going to wait here. And now that we are unspotted, I'm going to aim it on the standard B again. Okay. Well, 53 TP is in an awkward position. I can tell you that for a fact. Come on. Somebody poke me. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. I'm just going to move up at this point. Let's see what we can do. This camo still looks so cool. I have to be honest. I mean, it looks freaking epic. Wargaming did such a good job on it. All right. Well, let's move over here. And we got the Ritter in the back. And that's what I would ideally like to shoot at. Let's just aim in with an HE, bro. My teammate. Oh, my God. I can't sometimes. My teammate. Ugh. He turned me as well, which changes the the gun depression on this vehicle is only effective frontally. And, all right. Well, we would have had a pretty easy 3K game, but our teammate who drove into us basically took that away because the problem is over the front of the Ritter, you, well, we might still be able to get 3K out. There you go. But the front of the Ritter obviously gets blocked by the gun, so you have to turn the turret to the side to get the 9, 10 degrees gun depression. And as you saw, my teammate in the uh, the CS-53, whatever the tier 8 is, pushed me sideways. And when he did that, it made my gun go back over the part with no gun depression, so I couldn't shoot at the Ritter. Kind of annoying, not gonna lie. We still did 3,100 though, so I can't get too mad. Just a little, little salty there. Either way, the Ritter is a fantastic vehicle, and if it ever comes out again, just get it. I mean, it really is a great take, and even if you don't understand how to play it currently, it's one of those vehicles that later down the line, if you do start to understand tank destroyers like this more, is insane. This camo is fantastic. I would definitely recommend to uh, check it out. I'll have it linked in the description, so make sure to download it if you want this camo. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.